Hey, Kira, calm down. We all know you need water. Hi, it's Tuesday, and you're watching Tasty Tuesday, the show is Tuesday, I try to make something tasty, sometimes it works. Today, I got a recipe from my aunt, my lovely aunt, Leslie. She sent it to the wrong email address, actually. I don't have the Yahoo anymore, I have the Gmail, so I need to send it to that next time. But my mom forwarded it to me, and it's the fat flushing soup recipe. It's a soup that flushes all the fat away. I don't know what you're trying to say about me. Why did you send me that? But we're gonna do it, and um, it's a slow cooker recipe, so I gotta get out my slow cooker, and coincidentally, my Auntie Leslie is the one that bought me this slow cooker. Hmm. She says I can make a batch of this soup and then it'll be lunches for the rest of the week, which I need because I'm leaving for playlist next weekend and uh, I just don't want to think about having to prepare lunch or dinner. Supposedly the reason why it's called a fat flushing soup is because it has a lot of vitamins and veggies, very cool things, that healthy things that flush all the fat away. In the recipe it says literally flushes the fat away. I don't know what that means because there's no flusher that's literally inside me, but good. I hope it does. That's what we're making. Sorry if you don't have a slow cooker. Um, I'm sure there's another way to do it, but this one is for a slow cooker. So get your slow cooker out and let's get going. Okay, so it says to cover and cook on low for six to eight hours or until the vegetables begin to soften. Um, I'm hoping for six hours because it's already nighttime, six o'clock right now, and so that would put me at midnight. I'm not really a late night person, so um, really hoping it's six hours. Midnight's about my bedtime, so I'll, I will meet back up with you guys. At midnight. Oh my god, I know my face is scary now. I went to hot yoga in the seven hours that I've been waiting for this dish to be made and um, my face melted off. It's all right. It's 12.30 now. It's midnight 30, so it's been six and a half hours and I don't feel like the vegetables are as soft as I particularly like them to be, but they're soft enough that they're like, I tried a bit and it was like okay to eat. So I feel like I could continue on because I'm really tired and I'm not really good at like waking up and then going back to sleep and I'm worried for tomorrow's activities and the people that have to interact with me because I like people and I would like them to not think of me as a cunty bitch face. So, um, hey, I know, I know it's bedtime. Franklin's very antsy for bedtime. I'm telling them right now we're gonna finish the dish, okay? Is that okay? He's gonna bite me. So there's uh, two more ingredients left to put in there. It, uh, I need to do four cups of spinach until wilted, approximately five minutes of cooking, and then um, olive oil. And then you got yourself a tasty dish, hopefully. Maybe not. I tried to bite and it tasted kind of bland, but we'll see. <laughs> Oh shit, Steve's not here. He won't be here for 12 days. This is what you're missing. Oh my God, what am I gonna do? How will you know if it's tasty or not? Okay, so I guess I'm gonna taste this now and make sure it's good. Wait, 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 sorry. This is how you hold your fork. I mean, this is how I hold my spoon because that's how man eats. 
Mmm. Yeah, it's really good. It's really, really good. My goodness. Oh my god, it's so good. So, as you can see, it was a really delicious soup. This is supposed to be like a really healthy, low-sodium dish, which it is, but I would actually prefer it with more salt. They try to make up for it by having extra spices in there. It's a little bit on the spicy side, but, um, yeah, I think it would have been better with a little bit of sodium. Like, a little bit. I was like, hey, can you put some sodium in there? And they were like, nah. Periodic table of elements joke? Alright, I'm going to bed. Good night. Tasty Tuesday.